Don't you want to become like this? One man army. I'm so good. Oh my God. Then you came to the right place. Although the majority of competitive events in Fortnite are through the standard build mode, with the amount of cash prize zero build events has been increasing, and a rumored zero build FNCS, we're coming at you with 10 techniques the zero build pros are doing that you are in. If you've been keeping up with competitive Fortnite, you'll know that lining up a 3-2-1 spray on an opponent with your teammates is one of the best ways to get a free knock. It works great in build mode and even better in zero build mode. Since the opponent won't be able to build for protection, it's usually a guaranteed kill if you catch them in an unprotected area. The only thing they can do to save themselves is shockwave out, but by the time they toss one down, it's usually too late. Check out this clip from Tifu and his trio for example. They're hiding in a bush when they notice an opponent, causing Tifu to make this call out. Just He's gonna wait, walk, just once he walks one. up the ridge, we just lay him out. All right, three, Ready? two, one. Two, one. Dead. Crack that kid. Dead. The combination of their spray allowed them to knock the opponent in about one second. They used their number advantage to push the remaining two opponents and send them back to the lobby. At first, this technique may sound like something you try for fun with your friends, but it actually works extremely well in zero build mode. Just like the 3-2-1 beam, loot traps work so well in zero build mode since the opponent won't be able to protect themselves. Especially in the end game, players will be scurrying across the zone in an attempt to find an empty building to post up in. Check out this clip from Jaith playing the zero build squads cup. His team stays completely out of sight, waiting for an opponent to test their luck on the chug splash they planted. Right as the opponent walks in, he's met with a quadruple pump, killing him instantly and giving Jaith a small refresh. Proper usage of mobility has to be one of if not the biggest differences between the pros and average players in zero build mode. Since you obviously can't build for protection, you'll need to be carrying mobility items to save yourself in vulnerable situations. Shockwaves typically work best as they move you around quick and can be stacked all the way up to six in your inventory. Without any mobility items, you're pretty much dead if you get caught out in the open by an opponent with decent aim, so it's always best to be safe. If you aren't able to carry any, it's gonna be your best bet to rotate around in a vehicle. Vehicles offer a ton of protection and the ability to switch seats makes healing and attacking from different angles a breeze. While I'm sure many of you watching this are familiar with weapon swapping, many of you aren't doing it correctly especially in zero build mode. Since you won't be able to place builds after each shotgun shot for protection, you're gonna have to go straight for the weapon swap. But here's the thing, you shouldn't be taking a shotgun shot and only using your secondary to finish the kill. Taking two heavy shotgun shots along with some spray in between will guarantee the elimination and is quicker than trying to land every last SMG bullet. Obviously, there's gonna be times where it makes sense to stick with the spray, but don't let that keep you from weapon swapping correctly. Although most players will carry a sniper for fun if they have some extra room, not enough people are designating an inventory slot for it. With the Hunter Bolt Action Sniper dealing 250 plus damage to the head along with each clip holding three shots, it makes carrying this weapon a no-brainer. Being able to end a fight before it even starts is an advantage and can even save your life. Obviously, you won't be able to carry a sniper in every solos match you play, but for team modes, making sure at least one player is carrying a sniper is your best bet. If you're serious about improving, head over to ProGuides.com where you can access all of our courses and bootcamp content for only $7.99. And if personalized coaching is more your speed, you'll get 10% off any session with any of our pros. Like we mentioned earlier, zero build mode requires you to be on top of your mobility. This doesn't come down to just mobility items and vehicles either. Your character movement especially mantle skill, will have a huge impact on your performance. Knowing how and when to mantle on an opponent is a main core of zero build mode and should be prioritized. One way you can use mantles to your advantage in zero build mode is by mantling instantly after flying up a balloon. As you know, riding up the balloon normally will send you extremely high and will take a while for you to come back down. To avoid this, hold down your mantle bind as you ride up and stay away from the center. This will send you right up to the balloon top where you'll be ready to go. Check out this clip from Evolve Jake for example. He notices a player on top of the balloon and wants to engage a fight. He hits the balloon, instantly mantles, and is able to land a heavy shotgun shot. This forces the opponent to fly away, only to be killed mid-air. Okay, so we all know that creative is a great tool to improve your fighting skills with building, but what many don't know is that you can use it to improve at zero builds as well. 
For starters, Raider 464's aim duel map has a variety of different scenarios for you and your partner to battle it out in. This is a great time to practice your crouching, strafing, swapping, and really just overall gun skill. For a more zero build mode focused map, we have the Coney Crossroads Deathmatch. This map runs just how it sounds. It's a nearly identical replica of Coney Crossroads and everyone's battling it out with the same weapons. Tifu and Zemi, two of the best zero build players have promoted this map in the past, so you know it must be good. All right, Fortnite fam, it's time for the question of the day. Do you prefer zero build mode or regular? Let us know what you think down in the comments below. So about a month ago, Epic introduced the brand new Goo Gun. This thing is hands down the most overpowered weapon we've seen in a while. There's a reason this thing isn't in the competitive playlist, guys. Although, it's probably more fun to play with your basic weapons. You know, ones that take skill. You're only going to be holding yourself back by not using it. This thing deals a ton of damage to both builds and players. And since natural protection is so important in zero build mode, sending some goo over to an enemy will force them to either counter you or try to get away. This clip from Zemi is a perfect example. He notices the final opponent in a bush hidden behind a tree. With just two sprays of a goo gun, the tree was demolished, leaving the opponent completely vulnerable up until his death. Once you reach the end game in zero build mode, you don't want to be that player that hides around corners praying for a safe rotation. You want to control the lobby. Obviously, you won't be in a position to do this every game, but you need to take the opportunity when it's there. Since opponents won't be tarping, they'll either be using some form of mobility or just winging it on foot. This means you'll be able to deal some major damage if you claim a spot in the zone. The final technique we have for you guys today is in opposition of what we just said, but camping on top of balloons can actually be a viable strategy. During the mid game when you just want to play it safe, head up to the top of a balloon and hold your ground. You'll basically have a view of the entire map without having to expose yourself to danger. Not to mention that you can rotate extremely far when zone pulls. Be careful though, if an opponent uses the mantle trick we mentioned earlier, your dust. Well, that wraps things up for today, Fortnite fam. Did you enjoy the video? Be sure to leave a like and ring that bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest tips and tricks we have to offer. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know if there's anything you would be interested in learning more about. Remember, just because zero build mode may be easier in general, becoming a pro is still gonna take tons of grinding. Utilize the techniques we went over in today's video and you'll be well on your way to the top. Once again, my name is Galvanize and I'll see you in our next video here at Pro Guides.